So the ingredients are half a teaspoon of cardamom, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a couple of cloves, a couple of slices of fresh ginger. For this one I'll be using some Earl Grey tea bags, but of course it speaks for itself. If you can get your hands on some fresh ingredients, just use that. And finally some almond milk. Basically I will be using a one to one ratio, so one ratio of milk against one ratio of the tea concoction. Doesn't matter how much you want to make it, if you just remember a one to one ratio, you'll be fine. So all you need is basically two jars. One jar for the chai and the other jar is for the milk. This time I will be using the lazy man approach by using a microwave but of course you can use a pot to infuse all of the spices but this is just way quicker and of course easier. So let's take a jar and fill it halfway with water. Let's add the ginger, the cloves and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and cardamom. Give it a little stir. Just like that. Let's put the spices mixture into the microwave and heat it up until the water is really warm. So once the mixture is nice and hot, you can add your tea bag and just let it infuse for a bit. Then take the other jar and fill it halfway with milk. By the way, I'm using almond milk because I just like almond milk, but of course you can use whatever milk you like. Then put your milk into the microwave and heat it up until it's nice and hot. So we've heated up the milk and now it's time to make it frothy. Of course you can just use the frother to make the milk frothy but I don't have that. So I'm just going to use this jar and a lid. Put a lid on it and give it a real real good shake. I did not close the lid very well. Alright. Our milk is nice and frothy and the chai is ready. Let's prepare the drink. First, let's take out the tea bag. I don't really have a strainer, so I kind of improvised with this, uh, I don't know how you call it, a tea soaking apparatus. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this to strain the chai. All right, here we go. <laughs> Not the most ideal strainer, but it works. And there you have it. You have yourself a chai latte as a finishing touch. Let's put some cinnamon on top. There you go. And it's 